morning everyone, Tom here from TechNexus and thanks for joining me on this week's video. Now, I wanted to go over something <clears throat> uh, in regards to archiving and backing up projects that are collaboration projects. So now I'm using Plan3D 2022. Um, I've just got the sample project which I've uploaded to, to BIM360 so it is now a plant collaboration project. So you can see that over here uh, in that bottom right window and you can see that when I drill into the um, pin ID folder, it's empty. So that's the that's the cache uh, folder. Okay. Now, when I open this or check it out, so I'm just going to do check out. You'll see that it will download that file, and now it places it in my uh, cache folder on my computer. So then I can just open it as normal and do whatever I need to do with it. Okay, now sometimes uh, I have come across users as well who sort of think that just backing up this um, cache folder is the answer to an archive when it's not. So you can see here, if I jump back into that Area 1 Piano D folder, in Plant 3D, being a, a collaboration project, I have this 1A1-1002 and it's not in my cache. So that way it's not it's just not going to be backed up if I'm doing just a local cache backup. Okay. If I wanted to have everything pulled down in my cache, I can right click on the project and go check out. But instead of having this checkout button, if you look on the right of that, there's a little sort of down arrow button, you can go download only. And that means I can basically select every sort of subfolder there is in the project. You see that there's 44 files, 20 kilobytes, and I'm just going to say download only. And then what you'll see here on the right hand side is it's going to download that pin ID, and you can see it's now in my cache. Okay, that still really isn't, you know, in a perfect world, the, the, the answer to, to backing up or archiving this project off your cache. So what you want to do is you can see I've already done that. Uh, archive so I'll just delete that old one and I'll show you what you should be looking at my only thing with this sample project and not being able to download the all of the, the the files you know off my collaboration cache and archive them is just things like uh, you know have the DCF files been synchronized across all of the projects um, you know are there any other files that people haven't checked in that you haven't seen yet as well so there's all those sort of things you have to sort of maybe consider in the background. Now, ultimately, it's uh, good practice to get into archiving the projects when you're the only one in it. So people should be checking the files back in. Now, if I didn't have this checked, or this was checked out by someone else and I wanted to archive it and get the latest and I did a check in, I could undo that check out, but it means I would lose uh, any work that that file has been uh, worked on. So, you know, maybe have a think about doing things like on a, on a Friday lunchtime or Friday afternoon, send an email to everyone on the project saying, can you please check in and close all of the files? So those, those options are under the Collaborate tab and you go to Options. And then when you look at the Collaboration options, there's a, uh, a pull down here that says, check in the drawing when it's closed. Okay, some people say when it's saved, which isn't a bad thing. So you can check in at every save. So whether you, you check in five, you know, you click save five times a day, it's going to be checked in five times a day. Okay, or you can do it manually. Some people do, you know, this manual option. It means that uh, when they close the drawing or shut down Plant 3D for the day, the, the, the drawing stays checked out. So have a look at these options and talk to you at your project users about when you know what the best option would be here for you whether it's a save or closed uh, again you could do it manually but it's just a bit of a risk when you know you're working globally on these collaborate projects that you know someone will possibly accidentally uh, you know not check it in and then I mean you might get a, an archive of it but it might not be the up-to-date archive so just have a look at those okay now, now that we have them all downloaded as well, they're in my case, so they will, you know, come through quicker. Uh, so if I want to open it, 
Okay, all it does is check out. It doesn't really need to download because it's already done the downloading process. Okay, so if we had to initiate a full project archive or backup, backup is the terminology used in the software. I'll just let that file check in. And we're going to check in 1001 as well. So if we look at the pin ID, you can see there's our 1001, 1002, just waiting for any changes, even though there wasn't any, obviously the software is going to think that the fault was saved, there's going to be some changes. And we'll do the same thing with 1001. We'll just say no for that. So now, when I want to do a project backup or an archive of it, I select the project at the top level, I right click, and I go down the bottom and I say create project backup. It's the third last option down there. So I click on that. Now it says here, exclusive project access, you're the all alone in here, okay? Again, because I'm, I'm a single user on this, just double check that it says that you're the only person in here. If there is someone in there, um, you should be able to ask your project users to, to get out. Now, I'm gonna throw this on my desktop so you can see it up here and I'm gonna go back up project now. Okay, and then you see over here on the right hand side, it's made the project name with the date and the time. Okay. And if I jump into the pen ID area, we'll give that a second. So you can see it's downloaded those uh, two pen IDs, and if we go into you can see we've got a steel drawing in area one, we've got a grade drawing, a master drawing, okay, and then all the specs are coming in and being downloaded as well. Okay, so don't assume just because you have a collaboration cache that that is the master um, project or you know, downloaded cached files of the whole project. It's not always going to be like that, okay? You should use that project backup um, uh, command and then have that backup complete. And you can see there it says it's all it's all done and dusted, okay? So we've got all the authors. Oh, it looks like there's no authors in this. Let me check the ISOs. So we have some ISOs that are already in here. So this is the sample project, so... Okay, so hopefully that clears up a few questions for you. So don't look at doing the collaboration cache. Look at using this archive uh, pre create project backup function, and that'll grab everything, all the databases, the specs, the ISOs, the authors, anything that's from the project, and then you can consider that to be um, a backup. And then you'd need to do things like, do you save it to a local server? Do you save it to another cloud, just as a, as a zipped uh, project? Um, or, you know, if you're a small user, maybe you've got a NAS uh, sitting on your network, whatever. And as well, if you are going to be doing true backups as well, make sure you've got at least a couple of uh, places where these files are stored and backed up. Don't automatically assume if you've got a NAS drive, um, if they're in, set up in a particular RAID, if one drive fails and the, all the others, you know, it doesn't lose the data you could lose the whole box one day. So just have a think about when you are backing up these um, these these files or these zip files that they are in multiple places as well. That's a, it's a really, really good thing to get into. All right. So hopefully that's cleared up a few questions for people on creating project backups uh, within Plant3D. This was 2022. Um, very, very similar function in 2021. I think the wording is the same from memory. So... Yeah, have a look at that. Let me know in the comments below if you need any uh, any other words of uh, advice for any of this. Uh, I will endeavour to try and answer these uh, comments as soon as I can. But as usual, thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't. But please do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next week for some more uh, Plan3D or AutoCAD or Advanced Steel. We'll see how we go. Thanks again. See ya.